What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, as I always say in the beginning of all my videos, I'm going to cut it short for this one. But if you guys want to check me out live streaming and see a different personality of me, by all means, go down to the link in the description and check out my Twitch channel down below. We stream every single day. It's a bunch of fantastic people over there. And like I said, it's always open lobby. So regardless if I'm playing Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, whatever it is, they're all cross play. And I make sure I play with each and every one of you guys. Open lobbies, first come, first serve. So if you guys want to be a part of that, go over to my Twitch stream and leave a follow. But today we're going to be actually checking out some Call of Duty Vanguard for once. It's been a long time since I went ahead and made a legitimate Call of Duty commentary because I just haven't really been digging the game lately. You know, I've just been kind of out of the Call of Duty phase, but as I promised yesterday, I was going to let you guys choose the game that I played, and everybody wanted to watch me rage in Call of Duty, so guess what? I just sucked it up. I grinded out about two hours of gameplay, and I have to put this commentary together because at a certain point, the developers who are making these games have to be held accountable for the disasters that they're pushing out into these titles. For the love of God, ever since Modern Warfare has been introduced into the franchise, every Call of Duty game you know, coming after that title has been an absolute mess every single time the game is updated. And it's only a Call of Duty thing. For the love of God, Battlefield 2042 is an absolute disaster. But every update that comes out improves the quality of life. Every single time I have to cover an update, I'm happy. I'm pleased. And yes, I go ahead and make more negative commentaries because that's what I have to do to showcase off all the bad things in the game and, you know, give my personal opinion. But when DICE does something good, they definitely do it good. But every single Call of Duty game that releases nowadays, they'll fix three things, but then 50 more bugs, glitches, and game breaking issues, you know, occur in the title as well. They could never just add an update to the game and it just works right out the gate with no more issues, no more problems. They always take a couple of steps forward and about five steps backwards, which leads us into the same situation where a Call of Duty game is never perfect or never, you know, playable until the end of the year, the end of the life cycle when a brand new Call of Duty game comes out and then we have to go through the same cycle of, you know, another buggy, glitchy mess and then, you know, that game gets complete after a year and then a new Call of Duty game comes. You know what I'm saying here? It's just the most disgusting practice I've ever seen in my whole life. And what sucks even more is that Activision just got done giving Sledgehammer Games an absolutely, you know, complete paid off vacation. So these individuals were able to relax, kick back, not worry about work, not stress or anything like that. You would think they would be motivated after coming back, but the motivation is not there. They came back from vacation and they're doing nothing. The game is still at the same exact state as it was before. And it absolutely sucks to make this commentary. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. It's really annoying because I enjoyed partially what Sledgehammer Games did here. Now, Infinity Ward is my personal favorite development team. I love Infinity Ward. Modern Warfare 2019 was the, <laughs> the big one that just really turned me away from that development team. But I was a fan of Ghost, Infinite Warfare, the whole Modern Warfare series. And as much as I know I'm going to get a lot of bad feedback for enjoying Ghost and stuff like that, I did. I had a pretty decent time playing those games. I like the art style and the direction of war that Infinity Ward takes over the other development teams who work on Call of Duty titles. But, like I said, after their most recent flop, in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2019... They kind of fell off, but Sledgehammer Games took that formula from Modern Warfare 2019. They took the Infinity Ward vibes and built upon it. They changed every single bad feature that we hated in that game between the, uh, the footstep noise, dead silence, the minimap, everything. Everything, they pretty much switched around and made it more consumer friendly. They made the community happy. And it's really rough to make this commentary because I really do appreciate that, you know? We haven't seen this much content in the game and, you know, this many changes to make the community pleased in a long time. Usually the development teams just completely ignore everything we say and just do exactly what they want to do. They try to live out their vision while the community has to suffer through it. But Sledgehammer Games gave us a crap ton of weapons with tons of attachment combos. They gave us 16 plus maps and still pumping them in through content updates for free for everybody. And like I said, they changed many core features that made Modern Warfare awful and just, you know, made the game more functional they did a decent job but that doesn't dictate how they should handle the aftermath of this game just because you launched the game with a lot of content doesn't mean it should launch completely busted you know what i'm saying they're two completely different things and i can go ahead and give them praise as much as i want for releasing a lot of content but at a certain point i'm gonna have to put my foot down and say that the performance of this game is just completely unacceptable. The glitches are getting completely out of hand, and I don't even know if they've resolved this yet, but the new map, Dome, you know, Dome, Modern Warfare 3 Dome that they remastered and put into the game, every single game that I got into on that map, everybody just camps out of bounds because there's glitches and bugs and problems everywhere throughout this game. They can't get anything right. Every update 
they do to the game, every addition they put into the game breaks more than it improves. This shouldn't be the case. And of course, while Activision is forcing them to update the store and get the battle pass working and stuff like that and functioning, the game is just dying. A lot of the core issues that have been haunting this game since launch are still there and more problems are occurring as well. You know, like I'm going to use DICE as an example again. I know a lot of people don't like to respect DICE right now because, you know, what they put out. But seriously, a lot of the things that we hated from day one, gunplay, uh, connection issues to servers, all that stuff, rubber banding, all that stuff has been pretty much resolved. A, a good portion of it. I still rubber band every once in a while when I get shot by explosives from helicopters and tanks and stuff like that. But the overall experience, it is improving. They are fixing it from what you know they put out day one. And they still haven't even added to the story. The store is still completely vacant. Nothing there. They have free weekly challenges that you could do on your own time. No payments required. You get free skins for doing weekly challenges. And they're working on the bugs and glitches. So far with Sledgehammer Games, yeah, they had a lot of content at launch. But now all it is is store, 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 battle pass, battle pass, battle pass, you know, new content, new features, all that stuff. While all the core issues are still in the game. People are still black screening 24-7. People are still freezing 24-7. Consoles are still being bricked and being forced to restart 24-7. I'm still getting packet burst and packet lost all the time. It makes no logical sense why this is still happening in this game. The list goes on when it comes to really horrifying problems. And honestly, it's not even just the bugs that are issues with the game, but it's also the core mechanics of the game. It is so ridiculously noob friendly. Yes, they fixed a lot of things in Model for 2019, but they still kept the core features of the game there. This game is still completely angle based. The time to kill is ridiculous ridiculously short. It's just as short, if not shorter, than Modern Warfare 2019's time to kill, which makes the gunfights completely unpredictable. Unless you're ADSing and you're prepped for the enemy first, you are going to get melted on every single head glitch, which obviously slows down the pacing. They also reverted back to the kill streak system after we already, you know, made it very clear that score streak is much more superior to the kill streaks because it allows people to run more, play more OBJ, help out their team because it gives them points towards their streak, but no, we've reverted. Once again, back to the killstreak system for Modern Warfare to help out the noobs so they can camp and sit in the back of the map with their overpowered STG and, you know, they can get their little UAV and maybe a guard dog or something sit in the back there hiding. That's what these games are revolved around. Even the bloom in this game. Yes, they might have reduced it, but bloom shouldn't be in the game at all. It doesn't matter if they reduced it to be, you know, very minimal. It shouldn't be in the game. It's a random factor that, once again, helps out the noobs. It randomizes gunfights and makes it so the person with the better accuracy won't always win every gunfight because it doesn't matter how well you can track an enemy or keep your red dot on a target the gunshots are just going to fly out in every direction anyways and the biggest insult here is that in warzone they completely removed it all together i hate i hate how much they focus warzone over the core 6v6 or whatever you want to play blitz assault anything in the combat pacing the core call of duty experience it's done. It's a goner. They prefer to fix the Warzone side of things over the actual core Call of Duty side. Do you guys remember when we were all complaining about the red dots on the uh, mini-map in Modern Warfare 2019 and they refused to ever put it in the game? But then in Warzone, we had a working mini-map, something that actually worked normally. If you shot with an unsuppressed weapon, you showed up on the mini-map. Why? <laughs> Why do these things always happen? They put a mini-map in Warzone. They put no bloom in Warzone. Everything is better in Warzone. And it sucks because I don't want to play BR anymore. I'm happy for all of you guys who enjoy it, but I put way too many hours into PUBG and all these other different Battle Royale experiences that I am just, I'm done, I'm tired out of it, I want a good Call of Duty game at this point, and they're not putting any effort into making sure we get a good Call of Duty game. I mean shoot, Warzone absolutely destroyed every Call of Duty game with the current update that just came out for it. It literally made Vanguard, Black Ops Cold War, and Modern Warfare multiplayer completely unplayable. Completely unplayable. And they made sure, they fixed up Warzone to make sure that worked first, before any of the Call of Duty experiences. All the 6v6 games had to wait while Warzone was being perfectly fixed up. Yeah, that's totally fair. That's great. I'm glad to know that your main priority is to make sure that, you know, Warzone doesn't crash. But who cares about the rest of the Call of Duty games? Who cares about the zombie fans? Who cares about the multiplayer fans? Who cares about anybody that wants to try out Spec Ops or Campaign? They can go screw themselves. We just gotta make sure Warzone works properly. Warzone has a regular minimap, so you don't have to use a perk in Vanguard or just struggle in on a warfare. Warzone has a much better time to kill, because obviously it's a BR, you can't get insta-melted, they don't want that to happen to you, it'll ruin the whole experience. And Warzone has the better servers, connection, anti-cheat, all that good stuff. Oh, why should anybody bother? with a regular Call of Duty experience anymore. And it's so weird too to me because Sledgehammer Games did a fantastic job with handling the time to kill in World War II. 
their previous, you know, World War II title. The shotguns were really annoying, especially with the fire rounds, but when it came to running around with SMGs and ARs, the gunfights were perfection. It was a fast time to kill, but it was nowhere close to being like this, where I'm two-tapping people with my STG across the map. It'll take five, six bullets, but that goes across the board for everybody. So it's fast, the fire rate of weapons are quick, but at the same time, you need to be able to track an enemy. It's not just about, you know, sitting on a head glitch mounted and then, you know, beaming someone with two bullets. No, you actually had to know how to predict enemies' movements, their strafing patterns, take into consideration their weapons that they're using. There was so much more skill involved in that game, and I'm so depressed that they downgraded to the Modern Warfare 2019 formula of just giving any random player the advantage to get a kill. I mean, for the love of God, even in games like Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty 4, I could still last longer and have more engaging gunfights than I can nowadays with these most recent Call of Duty titles. Not Black Ops Cold War, because the time to kill is 150, but in Modern Warfare and Vanguard, Jesus Christ, man totally revolved around extremely easy gunfights. Like I said, if you just hold an angle with a bar or STG or any other completely decked out gun, you're going to melt kids and there's nothing they can do about it. But ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like if I hate it. Leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, want to chat me this toys do so. I've torn in a Discord. Both of those are in the down description. And also, if you want to catch me live streaming some video games over on Twitch. Link that's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.